I was born in a rural area in China, and uh, when I was young, there's a lot of, always a lot of animals around me. I really want to do something for the agriculture field. I'm the only child in my family, so I felt very lonely. I had a cat. He accompanied with me for 20 years, and he died um, two years ago. So I want to safeguard him in return. Since I was very young, maybe even younger than 10 years old, I started to tell everyone I want to be a vet. The center is a U.S. education service center at Kansas State University. We have 11 universities in China providing the students for us, the best students in China in agriculture universities. And we bring the students all come to, to K-State, study one year uh, as a pre-vet, so make sure they're qualified to apply to the vet schools. In China, the students go into the uh, universities to learn veterinary medicine after high school. Uh, for four years or five years. We're just getting bachelor degrees and uh, the resources uh, is a little limited there. And the hospital here I think is 15 times as big as the one in my university. I know veterinary students are really well trained here so if I can be an educator in this profession and uh, promote the veterinary medicine career and profession in China that will be really good for myself and the country and for the communication between China and the U.S. Having a pet in China is kind of new. It's like maybe 10 or at most 20 years. We want to treat them well, so we need someone to like learn from the advanced and tell the people what is good for the animals. China and America has a lot of export and import stuff now. Both countries are large, are huge in ag agriculture, and a lot of diseases um, are common, and we need to make sure uh, there is some collaboration. I think this program is a great idea. I am very honored to be this part of a program to do something for our country or even for the whole world, for the veterinary uh, profession.